everybody. Welcome or welcome back if you've been here before. I have got to deep clean my closet today. I bought a shelf that's sticking out in my hallway right here, right there. And I have some other stuff, that bag over there, ignore that. It's sitting there because I went to the Goodwill bins. That's gonna be in a separate video, but um, anyway, that shelf in the hallway, it's just a cube shelf from Walmart. Um, I'll try to show the exact one I got. And that way, if you want to get it, my floors are kind of creaky. So you're going to be hearing those. And this is my office it's where I edit my videos, stuff like that. I'm going to bring you in closer and we're going to try to, um, clear out a space for the shelf and, uh, organize it. So over here is where I do my editing, that kind of thing. But the shelf is going to be going more back there where my printer table is. And this, it's like a cleaning cart. I got it in the laundry section at Walmart. It does not do what I need it to do. It's holding like papers, like cardstock and stuff like that. And it takes up way too much space for just holding papers. So um, and then you can see I have like piles of papers and sewing patterns and craft supplies, all that jazz. And I really need a better way to organize it. So we're just going to start by going through everything over here and honestly getting it out of the room and then I'll put the shelf in here and then we'll put stuff back in little by little and I might declutter along the way I don't know but let's get started Just the 
at I couldn't find another shelf that met the specifications that I wanted for an affordable price it could have gone further and it also could have gone taller um this is you know from a printer so no this is like from a printer and office supplies kind of thing um this printer is gonna go on top I know it's probably not going it's definitely not gonna fit in these shelves um, but the paper will, and it'll hold a whole lot more than those two pieces of furniture I had in here. And that's the main goal. So, um, I'm going to go ahead and I'm glad, I'm super glad that the outlet is accessible because I'm going to have to buy a new surge protector. I don't think I have enough, um, surge protectors, um, to go around because like my husband needs one. Um, for his stuff and then I already have one at the computer but I'm gonna need another one back there to make things a little bit easier to um, access and plug in and stuff like that so especially the printer because it's gonna have to be plugged up and reach all the way up here so I'm super excited about it now the instructions said that you can't use it without it being adhered to the wall it came with the I don't remember what it's called the strip of fabric that you like nail to a wall or a stud it said my husband is super keen on getting like um safety instructions right so and i'm happy for that i'm glad he is so before i load this up um i'm going to ask him if he will do that um, and he's not available to do it right now so i will ask him whenever i can and I don't know if it'll be tonight or tomorrow before I can finish this. So you might see me. All right, new day. Uh, my husband ended up securing it to the wall. So that's nice. We can go ahead and put stuff on it. I've got to put his drill and stuff up and then I'm gonna start by putting the printer over here. The printer obviously won't fit, I think I mentioned that, so I'm gonna put that on top and then maybe put the paper shredder beside it right here and then fill the rest with like papers and all my other stuff and um, just kind of figure out how I want it to go. So I'm gonna get started doing that. is the surge protector whenever I get one um, there's an outlet down here in that cubby so not in the cubby but behind it that I can access I just don't have an extra surge protector right now 
So I think I'm just gonna let the cords hang. Um, still put everything where I want it to go. cord to the printer is almost long enough to where I don't even think I would have to use a surge protector, but I am going to. So I'm just going to leave it like that. And I don't know what I'm going to be putting over here just yet, but I'm sure I'll find something. I could even put the paper shredder over there, but I think I'll use it more if it's down on the floor. And of course, once I get a surge protector, all those cords will be plugged in and hidden behind the cubes. So you shouldn't be able to see like the ugly cords and stuff. So I think that'll be really nice. Uh, I feel like I could put something up there. Honestly, I feel like my chalk fort, my chalk calendar would look pretty good above that, but I'm not sure. I could fit something taller here, like a basket or something if I wanted to. is what I keep all my sewing patterns in and it's too wide for that yeah it's too wide for that it could go on the other side though let's try the printer scoot it over I'm gonna drop the cord behind there It doesn't even hang off the edge on that side. I thought it would. And then I can move the handle up towards that side. I can move both the handles up if I want it to fit back or more. Okay. I don't know. Let me know what you think. And as I'm doing this, let me know if there's a if you see a better way to put things. I didn't, I still have stickers on this. And if you see white specks, it's the foam from the packaging. I didn't vacuum that off. I figured it's gonna get brushed off in the floor eventually and I have to vacuum in here anyway. So, but I will get the stickers off of it. So this filing basket is just like manuals, like for appliances and um, little things like that. I could probably do a better job about putting it in here, but they were already all in here. Um, so I think I'm just going to see if it fits here. I think they will. Yeah, they will. Okay. Oh, except for that's the wrong way. Because the label is on that side. I wonder if I can move the label. It looks really nice there, though. I don't know if you can get a good look at it, but... My plan is, so I got this at a thrift store for a couple bucks. They're kind of expensive, but I found them on Amazon. The two pack for, um, I don't remember how much they were, but I think I want to try to get matching ones because I could fit like three here and put like cardstock in one and then I don't know, maybe like mail or something in another one. And I think it would look really nice. Obviously I have to clean it out more for it to look nicer, but I think that would be a good start. I had foam on my pants. <laughs> so I think, uh, I think that's what I want to do in this shelf. I don't know if I'm going to leave extra space in the shelf for now or what I'm going to do. I will go ahead and put my laminator and stuff like over here. Laminating pouches and stuff right there. And there's plenty of room on this shelf. So there's plenty of room on this shelf, so hopefully I'll find something else to go here. Let's see. Where is it? Okay, I've got like extra paper and cardstock and stuff. Um, there's only one pack that's open and that's the colored cardstock. Oh, let's go really far back. 
way further back than I knew they would. And I, I do plan on getting some things that hook onto the shelves and hang down like a basket so I can make use of the height of the space instead of stacking things for things that are a little bit shorter. Okay, I got my planner here that I think I'm gonna stick up here with the file boxes. And these are just like packs of stiff felt pages. So I'm gonna put that over. Actually, I think I'm gonna put these with the laminator for now. And then I'll bring the paper in there. Okay, so I have some scrap cardstock uh, and like some already printed out sheets and stuff like that that I'm gonna try to tuck in a spot that it won't get messed up or mixed up rather. Um, tuck that by the cardstock is already there, it's colorful. Same with pink and red construction paper. And then the lined paper, I can put back the rest of the lined paper. So, gotta get it facing the right way. So I know this side looks horrible. Um, I'm getting through it. I have like a whole hamper of yarn down there. I have junk stacked on top of it. And then this is the shelf I was talking about that I'm going to try to take some of these smaller baskets and put it over there so that I have room for the Cricut. But honestly, I don't know how it's going to work. This box of thread might be able to fit in one of those cubes, maybe. And then I can get to it easier because I always feel like I'm going to knock something down off of the shelf because it's so big. It's perfect. There's even a little bit of room in the front. So that's great. I'm gonna add some of these coin wrappers and envelopes and stuff to the box, to the cube with the paper in it. I feel like that makes sense because I should be able to find a rack or something that'll hold the paper above everything else. So I can push up at the bottom. I'm just gonna push these foam bits on the floor. <laughs> then, cause I'm gonna vacuum. So, it's no big deal. Okay, and now we have a completely empty cube. This one looks kinda trashy for now. I don't even, this is a net cam. I'm not even sure if I'm gonna use that. I don't know. And now I think I can move this box of, what is it? A whole bunch of stuff in there, it, but it's kind of organized. I got this box last year, maybe two years ago, at a thrift store. Surprise, surprise. Um, and it's so cool. It's a nice, sturdy basket but it's already divided and it's got like markers, highlighters. Y'all, I think it's the lighting in here that makes me look hazy. I'm sorry. Um, like when I'm over there, it, it everything's clear. Like when I'm behind the light, everything's clear. Maybe I'll just stand back here and talk to you. I've got like pattern weights that I made and like dry erase markers, all sorts of things in here. But once again, I think it'd be easier to access if it has its own cube. So, let's see if I can. I don't know the best way to do the handles. Maybe put them in the back. It's in that way. So we'll see if this works. I think it will flip the other way. No, well, will it? No, it's really close to putting the other way though. But, okay, that's perfect. And if I could find a riser, for this or something to go over it. This could be split, the shelf could be split into two sections. But I think that looks really good so far. And now all I have to do is move my little jar, excuse me, all I have to do is move my little jar of paintbrushes over here. And they can fit there. I don't know if I like them there though. Okay, they'll, they'll go beside it so that works. 
I didn't want them in front of it because then it won't tip over. Then I have a ruler and you can pop that in there. And then I think so far I have this much cleared off. There's this ribbon stuff. I think I should be able to fit the Cricut there now and then we'll slowly work on the rest of this. The bottom, all those bins are actually fairly organized. It's the basket down below with my, with my fabric and everything that's a mess. So then of course I have Christmas cards and stuff I need to put up, but I'll go ahead and put the Cricut in here and we might be done for today. If it's perfect, we even had some room to spare on that. So I'm happy about that. In fact, that's hanging over the edge. We find a new spot for that. That's obviously just like paint and stuff. There's some scissors. This shelf looks so much better. I didn't know we'd end up organizing other parts of the office just because the um the shelf is already so much work but let's see what else we can do y'all right, that's everything thanks so much for being here today and if you would if you liked this video please consider subscribing to my channel I love hanging out with y'all and talking with y'all in the comments and this is just super fun for me so I can't wait to hang out with y'all again and I hope y'all have a great one